Hello guys, my name is Boris and I'm a computer engineering student at the Technical University of Berlin. And on this channel, I want to talk about things that I've learned and might bring you value, general education topics and lifestyle ones. Today, I want to talk about why I'm changing from my computer engineering bachelor program to a computer science master degree. And please don't get too mad at me. I really love computer engineering still. I would definitely still choose the computer engineering bachelor program over the computer science one. I've made a whole video where I compare the computer engineering and computer science bachelor program here at my uni and I will link that video up in the info card above. So one thing that I really enjoy about the computer engineering program, especially in the bachelor, is that I enjoy those fundamentals that I would have missed out on if I would have gone in with a computer science program. I really enjoy knowing about the fast Fourier transformation that I would probably have missed out on or I really enjoyed the operating system lab course where I learned how to implement a operating system and how to program in C really well and I also really liked fundamentals of physics and I had one course on that which is my semiconductor course and although it was hard to understand I really enjoyed it and it was really interesting. But the probably most important point that comes with computer engineering is its versatility, especially in the bachelor program. I myself started my studies with not really knowing what I wanted to focus on, like probably most other freshman students. And with computer engineering, you really learn a lot of different things. To bring up my story, how I came to computer engineering, I initially wanted to study something like physics. Then I said to myself, well, it has to be a bit more practical, so electrical engineering. Then I thought to myself, well, if I want to build some cool robots, I also have to learn how to code to be able to work with those. And well, the combination of both naturally led me to computer engineering. But starting with computer engineering in your bachelor's degree, you can go into so much different things. Like you can go into hardware computer engineering, which focuses more on I don't know, implementing some processors or into software computer engineering which works with operating systems or network architectures or you can really go fully into computer science pretty easily. You can also go into electrical engineering but I think that's a bit harder but still you can do that. I myself, well, pretty much just fell in love with machine learning. I just enjoy all the cool projects that there are in computer vision or natural language processing and so much more. I also really like the idea of implementing the way humans learn into machines, but also the other way around. I mean, if you look at the errors that machines make when they learn something, you can also derive something from that when learning as a human. I mean, look for example at GPT-3, that is a huge language model that predicts a sentence or words, and there is a new benchmark that comes with a respective paper. And this benchmark really tests the limitations of GPT-3 and how much wrong information it has learned because GPT-3 was trained, well, literally on the whole internet. The questions in this benchmark are really tailored to lure out wrong answers of GPT-3. For example, a question would be who really did 9-11? And then the model would say something like, well, the US government. And also how the answers are evaluated, if they are true or wrong. All of that together is on purpose tailored like to lure out wrong answers of the model and let it perform bad. But that's a whole nother story. Let me show you how potentially easy it can be to go from a computer engineering program to a computer science master program. If you look at the prerequisites for the computer science master program, at least here at the TU Berlin, you can see that most of them are naturally met by the computer engineering program. You only further need the two theoretical computer science courses. I took principles of theoretical computer science, but not really a second one. I started a course that counts as a theoretical computer science course called Algorithm Theory, but that was literally the only course that I dropped. I don't really know how the evaluation works, but long story short, I actually got accepted into the master program for computer science, and I'm now in the process of handing in all my documents that I need for the transition. But if computer engineering and computer science are so similar anyway, why can't I just stay in computer engineering? Well, the short answer is that the computer engineering master has a lot of rules and it kinda hinders me to focus on machine learning. Whilst with computer science, I can really focus on it. At least I can commit more to machine learning with my computer science master than with the computer engineering one. But let's quickly look at the differences of those two master programs. With both masters or 
graduate programs, you have several catalogs which you can choose two from, which will then be your focus. So for example, computer science has these here. I then have to collect 60 credits split among two catalogs. The first catalog has up to 42 credits and I will take cognitive systems, aka machine learning. Then I'll have to take at least 18 credits in another one, for example data and software engineering or embedded systems and computer architectures. After that I still have 30 credits for free choice courses, so I can choose whatever I want. Now you can see I have a lot of freedom of choice. With computer engineering I still have these catalogs, but for example I don't have data and software engineering. But I would then just have taken distributed systems and networks. That's pretty interesting as well, but no. Guess what? These catalogs are divided into group A and group B, and I have to select one catalog from each group. And distributed systems and networks and cognitive systems are in the same group. So I would take 42 credits in cognitive systems and 18 in something else. Plus, I have two specific mandatory courses on statistical signal processing and electromagnetic fields, which are interesting, but not really what I want to focus on. Because I have those two additional mandatory courses, the credits that I have for my free choice courses is again less than with computer science. Plus, computer engineering has again one or two more rules that limit you in the choices that you have, and it's just not like what I want. Now, I still really like working with hardware. In my bachelor thesis, I am still working with my little robot, but I don't need to know the underlying physics or I don't have to design my own processor and so on to be able to work with, let's say, a Raspberry Pi. And the last point that speaks a bit more for computer science is a bit more dreamy, but at least at the moment, I really enjoy the idea of working remote. I like the idea of having a house a bit more on the countryside and still being able to work on intellectually demanding tasks on big projects at big companies or on my own company or whatever. I mean, isn't the idea nice to be able to work and then take a break for half an hour, just jump into the ocean or into the sea, wherever you are located. <laughs> I mean, it's dreamy, of course, but I still enjoy the idea. And it's a bit more easy to do something like that with a computer science program than a computer engineering degree. But if you really enjoy two catalogs that are split among group A and group B, or the two other mandatory courses and really want to work that, of course, definitely go for computer engineering. Now, this was a little chat video where I talk into the camera, but I'm genuinely interested in your opinions, like what your interests are and what you think of my ideas, if it's naive or dreamy or if you support them, just let me know your opinions in the comments below. I genuinely want to know them. Of course, there are also other engineering degrees that are amazing, and I've made my own little tier list video that you can click up here. Now, I hope this video was entertaining or really you could find someone to share your opinions or had other opinions that you can discuss with. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And yeah, with that said, as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!